Rex Tillerson made an extraordinary appearance before cameras at the State Department today to refute reports that he had disparaged the president and had to be talked out of quitting. Margaret Brennan has that story. He loves his country. He puts Americans and America first. He's smart. The press of Earth's Secretary of State declared that he never considered quitting his job, but did not deny having referred to the president as a moron. We don't deal with that kind of petty nonsense, and it is intended to do nothing but divide people. And I'm just not going to be part of this effort to divide this administration. The State Department spokesperson later denied it. The secretary did not use that type of language to speak about the president of the United States. The president was told Tillerson made the remark after this July meeting at the Pentagon. Days earlier, the president had blown up at Tillerson over sharply differing views on the Iran nuclear deal. Tillerson himself was frustrated. He'd been undermined on other key issues, including Venezuela and Amity's dispute. It also became personal. Tillerson, a lifelong Boy Scout, was dismayed by Mr. Trump's comments at a Boy Scout gathering. Who the hell wants to speak about politics when I'm in front of the Boy Scouts? Right? The president has been personally frustrated by Tillerson's reluctance to defend his equivocation on Charlottesville. I think there's blame on both sides. The president speaks for himself. But the two men spoke by phone today, and Tillerson's spokesperson said they're all good. And despite the president's tweet this weekend telling the secretary of state to stop wasting his time by trying to start talks with North Korea, he said today that he has total confidence in him. Yeah, I'm very honored by his comments. Senator Bob Corker, who is chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, said today that while some in the administration are trying to undermine Tillerson's authority, it's Tillerson, along with Defense Secretary Jim Mattis and Chief of Staff John Kelly, who are helping to separate the country from chaos. Anthony? Margaret Brennan, thank you, Margaret.